On the coast of Dalmatia is a little city of which the Irish playwright George Bernard Shaw once said, Those who seek paradise on earth should come to Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik is a miniature world of its own, and much more than that. A microcosm of cultures, designated by UNESCO in 1997 as part of the world cultural heritage. The Dubrovnik city walls are well over 2,000 yards long and almost 20 feet wide in places. It's the best preserved fortification system in Europe and includes a perfectly preserved complex of private and public, secular and religious buildings from all periods of the city's history, starting with its origins in the 7th century. It was founded by Illyrian refugees fleeing from the Slav conquerors. They climbed the rocks to safety and built the settlement of Ragusium. Ragusium thrived on trade and commerce. Over the centuries, it merged with the Slav settlement of Dubrovnik. The descendants of conquerors and refugees were now living in a single town that until 1918 was still known as Ragusa. Far-sighted policies ensured its independence for 450 years. Since the 14th century, it had been an autonomous republic, a great trading center, the queen of the Adriatic. The people of Dubrovnik lived in fear of their enemies. The region was constantly threatened by pirates and foreign armies that could overrun the city. So the walls were there for protection. Like the other fortifications and the placing of the cannons. A safe stronghold to preserve their golden freedom. All the little lanes opened onto the stratum, the central main street of Dubrovnik. The marble paving slabs were polished smooth by the daily promenading of all the inhabitants, noblemen and citizens alike. But only the public buildings revealed the riches of this city-state. The cathedral, the church of the Assumption from the 17th century. The remains of the city's patron saint, Vlaho, are preserved here, encased in gold. For over 1,000 years, Saint Blaise, as we know him, has held out a protective hand over the city. This is the third cathedral on this very site. The first one was erected in the 8th or 9th century, the Byzantine Cathedral as it's called. Until recently we knew nothing about it. We still don't know whether there was an earthquake, or the people of Dubrovnik simply wanted a grander building made of stone. But in the 12th century they built a Romanesque cathedral. It was very beautiful. It was known as the Jewel of Illyria. In 1667 it was completely destroyed by an earthquake. And then in 1713 they built this Baroque cathedral on the foundations of the Romanesque one. Past and present are equally alive in these walls. Dubrovnik preserved its visionary outlook. Croatia, a fascinating country. Bleak, rocky landscapes alternate with gentle Mediterranean beauty. Croatia has its own history, its own fortune and destiny. Hardly anyone can describe precisely the color of the Adriatic Sea.
One's first trip to the Adriatic coast of Croatia is a journey into the unknown. After that, it's like meeting a familiar beauty, but different every time.